could take me there Didn't leave me all alone You say You say You will But I know You won't I know You won't I know You won't Hey there, everybody. I am Hayes Carl, and uh, this is Adam Landry, and welcome to episode 51 of Alone Together Tuesdays. 51 times we have been alone on Tuesday. Which, before I did this show, Monday was my number one alone night, historically. But Tuesday has really rocketed into the lead. Anyway, uh... I'm I'm very happy to be here, and this is uh, the last Tuesday of the month, which means it's an all-request show, so everything we play tonight is by request, and uh, 
yeah, I think that's all there is to say. So let's get right to it. Um, I've got all the requests typed out here. Uh, and our first one comes from Maria DeRocher. She says, hi, Hayes. I would like to request, if I may be so bold, for my husband, Eddie, since April 22nd was his birthday. That is the song I normally catch him singing around the house. Catch him like he did something wrong. Uh, <laughs> Eddie introduced me to your music. We've watched every Alone Together Tuesday together, and there's no one on the planet I'd rather be quarantined with. Well, thank you, Maria, and happy birthday, Eddie. Uh, and this is for you. It's no eternal mystery. You don't need a hard run clue. Why some men do their damnedest when a half a damn would do? There's a lifetime in the distance and it's filled with love and gold And I will find it yet if I may be so bold Yes, yeah, some men do the conqueror and some men do the will And some will do most anything to hide the way they feel and some like giving orders and some like to be told but i will make my way if i may be so bold bold enough to make a difference bold enough to say i care bold enough to keep on trying even when the will's not there there's a whole world out there waiting full of stories to be told and i heed the call and tell them all if i may be so bold The boys were emptying their glasses as a true believer's will With what I guess these days passes for a good time or a thrill And they're trying hard to convince you but I don't believe your soul So I'm gonna step right up if I may be so bold Bold enough to make a difference, bold enough to give a damn, bold enough to keep on trying, and I'm gonna stay right where I am. <laughs> There's a whole world out there waiting full of dreams that can't be sold, and I heed the call and live them all if I may be so bold. Stumbled round these country towns and swallowed up the sea. I've wrestled with the question of just who I aim to be. I've been dealt hands I had to laugh at and some hands I'd love to fold. But I'll play them all if I may be so bold. Bold enough to not surrender, bold enough to give a damn, bold enough to keep on moving or to stay right where I am. There's a whole world out there waiting full of stories to be told And I eat the call and tell them all if I may be so bold Yeah, I tell them all if I may be so bold <laughs> Mr. Breeze All right, we are off and jogging um, That was... I was really hoping to land the first song, but I screwed it up. But that's okay. Um, we have a full refund policy here. If you're not happy, I will give you your money back. All right. Uh, let's see. What's next here? We had, uh, we had that one. Okay. We have Susan Ramirez requests Hide Me, Babe. Uh, a longtime fan and admirer of the Country Strong soundtrack and Hayes Carl songs in particular, this song is reminding me to let go of the hardships and hard feelings experienced during the past 14 months of lockdown, wildfires, and ice storms. Fear and anxiety took hold, and I found myself worried about things beyond my control. I watched the isolation affect people uh, I care about, 
who now continue to recover from that isolation. I hope Oregon music venues will reopen in full capacity and we can raise a glass and make a toast to the songwriters, artists, musicians, and fans who rely on music from cradle to grave to inspire, to celebrate, and to comfort. Thank you, Hayes, for making Alone Together Tuesdays a place where music continues to reach fans and touch our hearts and spirits. The Alone Together Tuesday family appreciates you. Well, thank you, Susan. That was very sweet, and I appreciate you. I feel like that should be a like a, an intro at my shows, like somebody have somebody read a part of that. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, uh, Frank Phillips uh, has also requested this song. He said, hey, Hayes, uh, no, I'm sorry. He did not request this song, just, just Susan. Uh, so I got confused. Okay. All right, Susan, this is for you. Let's see. Kia D. After all these years of running around, a flying high and a falling down Well the time has come at last To rest my heart and ease my past I'm gonna leave these blues behind For some other fool to find He won't care and I don't mind Hide me babe, hide me babe Darling, don't you cry tonight The moon is full and the world is right I've loved more than my share I took the pain and I called it fair So I'm gonna lay down all my fears My highway shoes and my rambling tears They can shout it down the line I can't lose what was not mine Raise my glass and I'll make a toast We're better than some, little harder than most We left a mark on every town We chased a dream and we stood our ground But I can't do those things no more Not the way I done before The same winds that brought me through Can take me back the same way too After all these years of running round Of flying high and falling down Well the time has come at last To rest my heart and to ease my past I'm gonna leave these blues behind For some other fool to find He won't care and I don't mind Hide me babe, hide me babe Next up, we have a popular request, uh, Girl Downtown. First to request it is Frank Phillips Jr., who I'm very grateful for. He's uh, a most excellent patron on Patreon. Uh, he says, hey, Hayes, I would like to request a Girl Downtown and dedicate it to my wife, Elaine, and her best friend, Kay. They're also known as the Fun Girls from Mount Pilot. <laughs> That's like a band name or a TV show. Uh, when they get together, they love to drink wine and always ask me to play that song for them after they've had a few glasses of wine and dance. I always gladly play it for the fun girls. They will be watching Tuesday and so will I. Thanks, Frank from Memphis. Well, thank you, Frank. I appreciate everything you do. And I'd be happy to send this out to the fun girls. But I also got to send it out to Sarah Pat Patlin Ro Rouse. She says... My daughter Josie turned 10 on the 17th, and this is her favorite song of yours. We were supposed to see you play in Missoula, Montana last year. She was disappointed that didn't happen. We can't wait till you make it back this way. Eric Driscoll, thank you, Sarah, uh, and I hope to be back this summer. I'll be back in Montana this summer. 
Uh, Eric Driscoll requests Girl Downtown for my buddies, Ruby Johnson and Christy Stanley. It always makes us get up and dance. I didn't know this was such a toe tapper, this, this song. Uh, Curtis Weaver says, hadn't heard Girl Downtown on Alone Together Tuesday yet. Can you please play it? Yes, to everybody. Thank you all for the request. I appreciate it. And uh, as soon as I find a guitar pick in my pocket, I will do that. All right. Well, there's a girl downtown with freckles on her nose, pencils in her pockets, and a ketchup on her clothes. She's a real nice girl. She's pretty as a plate, and the boys call her Katie when they ask her on a date. And who knows, Katie, maybe you could be the one. Well, there's a boy outside, standing in the rain Our hands are in his pockets, he's wondering why he came He's a real nice boy, he's slower than the fall And the girls call him Billy, if they're calling him at all And who knows, Billy, maybe you could be the one Ah, oh, but arts don't fly, words they don't sing And boys like you can't buy no ring Love's not stuck, it just moves slow You turn around a minute and away we go Billy walked inside, he ordered up a drink He started getting nervous and wondered what she thinks She thought he looked nice, a little rough around the seams But just the kind of boy who could listen to her dreams And who knows, Katie, or maybe he could be the one Yeah! They stepped outside, they took a little walk Katie held his hand, and Billy even talked They sat by the pond, they didn't make a sound The night fell easy as the moon came down And who knows, baby, maybe we could be the one Ah, oh, but arts don't fly, words they don't sing And boys like you can't buy no ring Love's not stuck, it just moves slow You turn around a minute and away we go There's a girl downtown with freckles on her nose Pencils in her pockets and a ketchup on her clothes She's a real nice girl, she's pretty as a plate And the boys call her Katie when they ask her on a date and who knows, Katie, or maybe you could be the one Yeah, who knows, Katie, or maybe you could be the one Ah, oh, who knows, baby, or maybe we could be the one All right, thank you everybody for requesting that one. That's a that one. Uh, that song gives me hope, not because of the song itself, but the crowd that it tends to attract. Um, because it's the only song I have that that children seem to be really drawn to, and um, you know, a good bulk of my audience is is not, um, you know, they're getting up there, and. Uh, and so I worry about the long long term sort of sustainability of my career. Uh, so it's nice to see, like, uh, planting seeds. Sarah, you know, has Josie, who's ten, is going to be ten. That I've got, I've got, 
a crop of fans coming up. Um, and there's really only like 40 or 50 of them over the years that I've been children. But anyway, it's something. It's better than nothing. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Mal Martin in Texas says, My husband and I would love to hear you play Jesus and Elvis. My, her my husband's first cousin was killed in Afghanistan 14 years ago, taking a family's only son. Trey felt the need to enlist after September 11th. He was a wonderful person and is truly a hero. I think that song is so well written and would love for you to dedicate it to Trey Katowski. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sorry for your loss, and um, we'll absolutely dedicate this to Trey. Um. Jesus and Elvis painted on velvet. Hanging at the bar here every night It's good to be back again Oh, me and my old friends Beneath the neon cross and a string of Christmas lights Lola built this joint in 67 And a boy went off to fight on Christmas Eve in a war nobody won She lost her only son Now everything he loved Is what you see Jesus and Elvis Painted on velvet Hanging at the bar Here every night It's good to be back again Oh, me and my old friend Beneath the neon cross in a string of Christmas lights Lola told him Jesus loves a sinner And his daddy told him the music saved his soul Between the drunkards and the band It's a fitting promised land Of all the king of kings and the king of rock and roll Jesus and Elvis Painted on velvet Hanging at the bar Here every night All right So if you need a shot of dickle or redemption Where the delta meets the sea of Galilee Get washed in the blood of the Mississippi mud Come on you non-believers and you'll see Jesus and Elvis painted on velvet Hanging at the bar here every night It's good to be back again Oh, me and my old friends Beneath the neon cross and a string of Christmas lights It's good to be back again Oh, me and my old friends Beneath the neon cross and a string of Christmas lights by and by, Lord, by and by By and by, Lord, by and by All right. That was for Trey Katowski. Thank you for your service. Trey, rest in peace. Um...
All right. We've got uh, a lot of um, covers tonight that were requested. Not a lot, but we've got five or six. So we've got some Towns coming up, some Robert O'Keen, some uh, Johnny Cash, some Hank Williams, uh, some cool stuff. So we'll get to that. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned we're, uh, we are live at the Purple Building. That's Purple Building in East Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, where a lot of exciting stuff's been happening. Uh, Todd Snyder just released his record uh, this week, and it's a very funky, soulful affair. Uh, and uh, I recommend you check it out if you're into into that kind of thing. Music, cool music. If you're into cool music, this might be up your alley. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I would like to request that's the way love go. Oh, you know what? This is a request uh, that I usually do with my wife and I'm and she's not here, but she will be probably with me next week. So I'm going to save this request for next week. Eric P Aaron Peterson. Um, let's see. Uh, Joyful Constance says looking forward to the all request show. I always love the song you wrote for Allison called Nanya. Well, thank you, Constance. Um, full disclosure. I wrote that song for Allison, with Allison, and with this guy, Adam Landry. He and I actually were writing it together. And then Allison came in and said, you guys need help. Here's what you should do. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes <laughs> most days. Um, but she was right, actually, put the song together. So. Um, <laughs> said Nanya None of your business don't you ask no more You said if you would do a better job of listening Then maybe you would understand Why I'm at the door You just had to paint the front porch ceiling turquoise You said that's the way we do it in the south you claimed it keeps out all the evil spirits But sometimes I can't believe the words Are coming out your mouth But I try Because I want to Know your heart the best way that I can For the laughter and the pain and it's sometimes just insane Girl, all I want to do is be your man Sometimes we'll pretend like we are strangers Out there meeting up for the first time And I'll be a doctor or a secret agent Just hoping that you'll laugh with me as I throw out my lines <laughs> Sorry, I was supposed to go there, wasn't I? I'm trying to figure out if I, I can if, if I can successfully blame that on you or but now it's, it's too late now. It's always uh, my fault. Yeah, you're right. That's a good policy. <laughs> I was really rolling along with that song until Adam screwed it up over here. I used to tell myself that I had it covered, that everything was where it needs to be, but then you showed up and you looked me over, and now I see. Oh, I see Now I see Darling, I see 
And so I try because I want to Know your heart the best way that I can For the laughter, for the pain For the way you call my name Girl, all I want to do is be your man I asked you where you been and you said none, yeah None of your business, don't you ask no more All right Yes Let's see, rolling right along This is always a long show, there's so many requests So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep the stories I'm, I'm doing pretty good so far But that's just, I'm having a harder time talking Is the problem Like In my mind things make sense But by the time they get through my head and my face, and they come out, they don't make sense. Mm -mm. What's that line Todd's got? His, his words were jumbled in his jaw. I can't remember what song that's from. Um, oh, it's Louie Louie. Yeah. Yep. Which, the one of the guys in that, uh, that band died last week. Um, he didn't know the words of the song, but what he did, he got jumbled in his jaw. Yeah, okay. Uh, what am I trying to say? See, there you go. That's the thing. Like, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need a guide soon. Like, maybe that's what a tour manager is for. But I need a life manager. Like, somebody just walk me around and like help me finish my sentences. A swami. A swami. <laughs> you could be. You could be a swami. You got that fez. I do have the swamis fez. wear yeah. fezes, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Some uh, sort of hat thing. <laughs> it's all about the hat. Uh, you know what? Let's do. Uh, let's do. Jealous moon. This is one that I do not play very often. Uh, and let's see, Buckeye Gal 333 requested. She said, either Jealous Moon, because I really like that one, or Things You Don't Want to Know. Because even though I heard Charlie's version, Charlie Mars' version first, I love them both, and the story behind it is great. Okay. I didn't read the whole request. I just saw Jealous Moon. I didn't know there were two requests and a request for a story. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's two songs and a story. It's two songs and a story. It's like a happy meal of <laughs> Hayes Carl, happy meal. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I haven't done this one in a long time because there's a lot of lyrics and I never quite memorized them until recently. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong. Let me tune this out. All right. I feel like I was maybe a little out of tune. This is a song I wrote with J.D. Souther, who is in all the hollows of fames. Rightfully so. Um... The moon is slowly rising It's really not surprising after all She's there most every night Smiling on the lovers Always shining on the others And bathing in the sun's reflected light But later on she'll fade away Hidden by the break of day That always comes too soon and Poor little thing She's just a jealous moon She plays above the water Watching the sailors, tramps and daughters Live their lives and then slowly fade away Night after night, year after year The ones she knows will disappear Into a world she never gets to stay And she would give most anything To open up her heart and sing But no one hears her tune 
poor little thing She's just a jealous moon No one ever asked her how she got so high Way up there forever in the lonely sky She watches through the seas Hoping without reason that someday Someone will call her home But life goes on without her No one ever asks about her Or lets her know that she's not alone And it breaks her heart That down below rivers run And flowers grow But she can't feel them bloom And poor little thing She's just a jealous moon are getting colder The stars are growing bolder as they paint their final light across the sky But closer to the atmosphere She prays for clouds to disappear so she can say goodnight and say goodbye She never really goes away just hidden by another day that always comes too soon. And poor little thing, she's just a jealous moon. And poor little thing, she's just a jealous moon. All right. I think that's a pretty song. I just never mm. can remember the words to it's it. Gorgeous. It's problematic. Uh, okay. What's next? I hope y'all are doing okay. Hanging with us on this all request episode of Alone Together Tuesdays. This is our 51st show. Next week, if my math is correct, that will be the 52nd show. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play my own favorite covers. I'm going to make it. I have this series called um, Songs I Love um, that I share with my Patreon, Patreon folks. And I just pick a song that I love and I play it. And um, uh, I think I'm going to make a whole show out of that next week. Just all the covers that I love. And then after that, we're going to start going through my records one at a time. <laughs> I'm doing that deal. I'm stealing all kinds of great ideas from the, here at the Purple Building in East Nashville. They got lots of the sharp, a sharp crew over here. Don't let the weed smell fool you. It is, uh, they are, they got it together. Um, so I'm just borrowing what I can. Let's see. Uh, Milady07 on Instagram requests Beaumont because it's one of her favorites. Uh, Krista... W O J C I E C H O W I C Z. Right? <laughs> Y'all were looking at me like, come on, Hayes, it can't be that hard. But 
Uh, but Krista is a regular fan, and, and as opposed to like an abnormal fan, um, she's no. I mean, she's regularly attends the show and supports the shows. Uh, Hi Hayes, I'm requesting Beaumont because it's forever my favorite, and I haven't asked for it in a while. The lyrics speak to my sentimental side. I always say that we all have a Beaumont. It was that song that made me a fan. As always, thanks. Well, thank you, Krista W. Um, and Andrea Brents uh, also requested it. She said, Beaumont, I still get the same feels within the first two measures of the song, Pure Bliss. That first drum of the guitar on that song gets me every time. It's music therapy at its finest for me. Love you, man. Well, thank you, Andrea and Krista and Milady07. Um, I'm happy to play this for y'all. Let's see. What is that? I'm, I'm flat or something. I don't know what's going on. This guitar may need to a new string or something. I saw you leaning on a memory With your back turned to the crowd In that little bar on Murphy Where they play guitar too loud And there were people drinking whiskey And there were hearts about to leave It was cold as hell for Houston It was almost New Year's Eve All the way from Beaumont With a white rose in my hand I could not wait forever, babe, I hope you'll understand All the night was feeling lucky, and so I asked you to dance And the way you looked up at me made me think I had a chance And when I put my arms around you, I knew you weren't giving in and I hope it will be different If I pass this way again All the way from Beaumont With a white rose in my hand I cannot wait forever, babe I hope you'll understand Well, I walked the road to get here With a guitar in a case And I'd have stopped in Pasadena If I'd have known about this place But you looked like forever Where the water meets the shore I've been thinking about you, baby I can't do that anymore I saw you leaning on a memory With your back turned to the crowd in that little bar on Murphy Where they play guitar too loud but There were people drinking whiskey And there were hearts about to leave It was cold as hell for Houston It was almost New Year's Eve All the way from Beaumont With a white rose in my hand I cannot wait forever, babe I hope you'll understand Yeah, all the way from Beaumont with a white rose in my hand I could not wait forever, babe I hope You'll understand Talking about uh, Girl Downtown has drawn a lot of kids to my fan base. That song has drawn a lot of alcoholics. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I don't know. It's probably a lot of everybody. There just happens to be a lot of heavy drinkers out there. 
Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, Brendan Connor says, I would love to hear your cover of Magnolia Wind. Love your music and guys. Well, thank you, Brendan. Uh, this is a Guy Clark song. And yesterday, um, I watched, or two days ago, I watched the Guy Clark, or the documentary, kind of, a, I don't even know what you call it. It's, it's a documentary, but it's, it's sort of like, well, it's, really, it's a documentary. I don't know, I'm trying to find another word for documentary. It's about Guy Clark, Susanna Clark, his wife, and Towns Van Zandt. And um, I guess Susanna's voice and her letters are they're read by Sissy Spacek. Um, it's, and it just knocked me out. It floored me. Um, I was familiar with Guy, and I knew a lot of this, the story. I've written with Guy, um, but... Uh, it was, I just gave me really pre great appreciation of uh, what these people live their lives around art. You know, sometimes to their detriment yeah. as people, but uh, uh, particularly Towns and Suzanne, it sounds like. But, uh, but man, what they, the legacy they left and the commitment to it um, was incredible. Uh, so anyway, it was really... Um, I highly recommend it. I'm not sure if it's, I don't know what's going to happen. It only showed six times, and then something's got to happen with it because it's, it's amazing, but I'm not sure what. So sorry to tease that and tell you how great it is, and then there's no way to watch it. But uh, I think there will be at some point. It's called Without Getting Killed or Caught. Um, and I had a funny story about um, meeting Susanna. I only met Susanna one time. But it was, I went over to guys to write, and I needed to use the restroom, so I went upstairs, and I opened the door, and Susanna's in the kitchen in her nightgown with this tray of taquitos that she was about to put in the oven. And I guess she didn't know I was there, because she screamed and threw the taquitos, the tray of taquitos up in the air, and they went all over the kitchen. And I didn't know she was there, so she, when she screamed, I screamed. <laughs> Because I'm cool, I'm cool under pressure like that. <laughs> I screamed, and it's just, and we just sort of it was like a sitcom, like some one of those wacky rom com things. Except the, anyway, um, it was we we calmed down. I explained what I was doing there, and that I was not a burglar, and and uh, we picked up the taquitos and put them in the oven and talked a little bit. But anyway, that's the one time I met Susanna Clark was I, I surprised her and she threw a tray of taquitos in the air. Um, yeah, okay, let's do this, uh, this is a guy, and I believe Sean Camp wrote this song, it's one of my favorites. I'd rather sleep in a box, like a bomb on the street, than a fine feather bed. Without your little old cold feet And I'd rather be deaf All dumb and storm blind Then I know that your mornings Would never be mine And I'd rather die young Than to live without you And I'd rather go hungry Than to eat lonesome stew And this once in a lifetime and it won't come again It's just here and it's gone On a magnolia wind And 
And I'd rather not walk Through the garden again If I can't catch your scent On a magnolia wind Then it comes time to go It says pack up your fiddle It says pack up your bow Cause if I can't dance with you Then I won't dance at all I just sit this one out With my back to the wall And I'd rather not hear A pretty music again If I can't kiss your fiddle on a magnolia wind Yeah, I can't kiss your scent On a magnolia wind Let's see. Hey, Hayes, how about Wanted Man next week? Yeah. I assume you're talking about Johnny Cash, not Bon Jovi. <laughs> but I might assume wrong. This De just popped into my head. The, Dead or when alive, you assume it makes an ass out of you and me. That's right. That's right. Um, uh, Dead or alive, yeah. Cause I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride, and I'm wanted, wanted. Dead or alive, you, you know Dead that. You know or that part. alive, you know that part. Every, every that's ride. Jeff Beck on guitar. It's not. It's not. Richie Sambora's on like they're both on guitar. He's just for show. He's a stand-in. Well, Jeff Beck does that crazy solo. On the with the big. It's. Yeah. Can you do the 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 cowboy part? The do 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 the descending. I don't remember it. I don't. I can't hear it in my head. Can you play Stairway to Heaven? Yes, but I'm not going to. Tesla love song. No. Check this out. <laughs> ah, that's all I know. And I got half of it wrong. <laughs> I know the first note. I know that. That's amazing. That's two notes. I, I more used than to know. I, I used to know the first like chunk of it, which is funny because I don't know anything on guitar. But I had my <laughs> my best friend in high school knew that song, and so he taught me. He taught me that. What was the first song you ever learned? The first song I ever learned was "Camp Town Races." Okay. Which that was just because it was in a guitar book, and and that was like the coolest song in that guitar book, which says a lot about the guitar book. Um, <laughs> I think the first song I pr probably "Patience." Okay. Because I learned, I learned C and G pretty early on. So I think it was, you know. Sad woman, take it slow. Things will come out fine. All we need is just a little patience. Hey 
seek it. Ooh, I'm gonna do something with it. <laughs> That's pretty much. Mine was China Grove by the Doobie Brothers because my guitar teacher for two lessons insisted that I learn it. Show me a little bit of that. Uh, uh. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Everybody. Oh, oh, oh. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember now. Yeah. I used to see, <laughs> Whoa, the, I used to see them at the pavilion when I was in high school. They'd come through. <laughs> and then oh. I learned Purple Haze. Okay. Yep. Let's see. All right. All right, let's play this. Uh, sorry, that took us on a whole dog leg. Um, let's, let's, let's try this here. If I can. This is my first time to play it, so. Um, do, do, do. Wanted man in Indiana, wanted man in Ohio, wanted man in Texarkana, wanted man in Mexico. Hey, Brian. Let's see if I can remember it. I wanted man in Sacramento, I wanted man in Old Cheyenne. Wherever you may look tonight, you may see this wanted man. Wanted man by Lucy Watson Wanted man by Nellie J Brandy Brown Wanted man by Nellie Johnson Wanted man in this next town Well I've had all that I wanted Of a lot of things I've had And a lot more than I needed Of some things that turned out bad a wanted man in Sacramento, wanted man in Tennessee, wanted man in Oklahoma, wanted man in Cherokee. A wanted man in Indiana, wanted man in Old Cheyenne. Wherever you may look tonight, you may see this wanted man. To sleep in Shreveport and woke up in Abilene Wondering why the hell I'm wanted in some town halfway between So I went home to El Paso, stopped to get myself a map Went the wrong way into Juarez with Juanita on my lap Wanted man in Indiana, wanted man in Mexico Wanted man in Milwaukee, wanted man in Buffalo Wanted man in Minneapolis, wanted man in Old Cheyenne Wherever you might look tonight, you might see this wanted man Wanted man in Milwaukee We started off with Bon Jovi, ended with Johnny Cash. That was a nice little segment. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Josiah Whitley Music on Facebook says, Your cover of Take Me Away is one of my favorite tunes in your catalog. It's a song that has meant a lot to me over the years. You kicked ass at City Winery last week, by the way. Thank you, sir. I think, sir, actually, Jos Josiah, that sounds like a male name, doesn't it? I believe so. Probably. Yeah. Um, thank you, Josiah. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, we played a gig last week. Amazing. Played two gigs. So much Same fun. night. First one went well. They said, let's do another one. So we said, all right. <laughs> they and didn't we, want us to stop. They didn't want us to stop. They, we we could have played a third. 
Mm -hmm. Could have just gone all night. Uh, let's do this. This is a song by my friends John Evans and Adam Carroll. And it was the second cover song that I ever recorded. I recorded one on my first record, and this was the only cover on my second record, I believe. Um. <laughs> Rain beating down on a midnight moon Oh baby, I'll be leaving soon Take me away The winds are howling like an old freight train Oh baby, these are the winds of change Take me away Cause I've been sitting on the front porch Watching the world go round Through the eyes of a foe They hit like a rock My whole world tumbling down Rain beating down on a midnight moon Oh, baby, I'll be leaving soon Take me away Grass around your ankles and the field before the flood You rough cut diamond in the Mississippi mud Take me away Well I'm a two time loser with my guitar and my gun You're a mover and a shaker and a lover in the sun Take me away Cause I've been sitting on the front porch Watching the world go round Through the eyes of a foe They hit like a rock My whole world tumbling down Rain beating down on a midnight Oh, baby, I'll be leaving soon Take me away mm -hmm. Take me away <sighs> All right, that brings back some memories that uh, that song I owe that song a lot <laughs> um, because uh, not only did it I get recorded on my record, but uh, I ended up doing a duet with a uh, or we had uh, Allison Moore came in and sang on it uh, back in two thousand and four, uh, and. Uh, Prelude. Yeah, well, I was, um, 
I was very intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew I needed to wait till the time was just right. So uh, 15 years later, we got married. Um, but that was our first time to sing together on that song. Um, so, let's see. Um, and I forgot to mention, uh, our postcards tonight, uh, we've got the Andre Agassi and the uh, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> uh, you can take your pick of which one you want. And if you contribute $30 or more to the show, you get your pick of a postcard, you get a set list from the show, uh, personalized and signed. You're going to get a lyric sheet to Jesus and Elvis. And you're going to get uh, a sticker, which is, that's, that's a lot. You're going to have a hard time even carrying that around, all that stuff. Um, a portion of the proceeds go uh, to the Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Tennessee, which is a wonderful organization that we've been working with a lot uh, in the last year. A lot of people have needed, um, have struggled during this time, and um, I, I like to support organizations that that help the the people that are struggling. So um, that's a good one. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's all I got. That's my that's my pitch. Let's get back to the the programming. Uh, Let's see, we had Magnolia win, we had, uh, let's see, what do we got? Hey, Hayes, I first, let's see, this is Linda Maxfield, Maxfield Carr Dash Wells. Hey, Hayes, I first saw you at Chuck Berry's Blueberry Hill Duck Room. I was, I was standing behind this very large drunk man. When, can you be more specific? <laughs> Sorry. It's just a lot of my shows. <laughs> when all of a sudden, he started falling backward. <laughs> I can visualize this. <laughs> I quickly jumped out of his way and was relieved until I turned to see that he had fallen on my daughter. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Marcia. Can you please play Don't Let Me Fall as a memory of my first Hayes concert? Uh, I would be happy to. Um, and then we have another request for it. Theresa Wharton says, your front, por your front porch ceiling really is turquoise. It's beautiful. I guess she saw a, a video of it. Uh, I don't know how well it works on evil spirits, but it's supposed to keep wasps from building nests on your porch too. How about Don't Let Me Fall? Well, I like that. Normally when people request Don't Let Me Fall, it's because they've had a really rough go of things. And um, uh, so it's nice to have two kind of lighthearted requests for that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and well, as long as we're here in the Purple Building and we're talking about the Duck Room in St. Louis, it reminds me of a story that Todd told me, uh, that Todd Snyder told me that um, about being backstage at, at this room and um, Chuck Berry walks in and Chuck Berry, if I'm not mistaken, is, is one of Todd's heroes as he is for a lot of folks. And he comes in and he says, are you Todd Snyder? And Todd, you have to correct me, Brian, if I'm getting this wrong, but he says, are you Todd Snyder? And Todd gets very excited that Chuck Berry has walked into his dressing room and called him out by name. Mm -hmm. And he says, yes, I am. And he says, get your car out of my parking spot. <laughs> Chuck Berry has a very specific spot. It's his club. He has a spot. It says Chuck Berry's parking spot. <laughs> and, and Todd parked in it, apparently. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so he asked who, who, who had the audacity to park in his spot. And they said, it's Todd Snyder. And so that's how he got his name. So he went down there. Are you Todd Snyder? <laughs> that's amazing. Anyway. Is that somewhat close to accurate? If you've heard. Move his van. Yeah, <laughs> that's so great. That reminds me. I've told this anecdote before, but one night I was playing Green Hall. The two nights, two sold-out nights at Green Hall, and I'm feeling really good about myself. The problem with Green Hall is there's actually no green room. Ironically, it's the one club mm -hmm. of that size that doesn't have a green room. Um. And so I had to sit outside in the parking lot until it's showtime. And so I'm waiting out there, and, and 
finally I get on my car and I'm walking in and the place is packed. You can hear it. It's like a quiet summer night and it's beautiful and the stars are out. Um, but everybody's off the streets because they're all in my show, this rock and dance hall. And I'm just feeling really good. I'm about to walk in and I know it's going to get crazy. And I'm just strutting in there. And this couple stops me and they're very excited. And I think to myself, well, they probably couldn't get tickets. And they're out here and they're just, you know, it's a big thrill for them to get to see me. <laughs> and they go, oh, oh, hey, hey. And I'm like, just calm down, calm down. It's going to be okay. And they're like, can we... Can we uh, can we get a photo? And I'm like, Ugh. sure, but I mean, I've clearly like I've got very important <laughs> things going on here. But yeah, I'm a man of the people, and so I I get ready. I, I prepare myself for them to come take a selfie with me. And instead, what happens is they hand me their <laughs> phone and go lean up against the wall of Green Hall and it hits me that they have no idea who I think I am and just want to take their photo in front of this historic dance hall and so they hand me their photo. It was very humbling. It's very good. And, uh, so anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh... I walked the highway since I can't remember I cut my poor family Right down to the bone From the shadows of hell To the winds of December Lay down with a stranger Woke up all alone So don't let me fall Cause I might not get up again Just hold me tight Cause right now but I need a friend I've come too far For this to be the end Don't let me fall Cause I might not get up And God knows I tried Hold on to a feeling A song or a memory To keep in my heart And I ask forgiveness From those I've forsaken Forgiveness don't come And it tears me apart So don't let me fall Cause I might not get up again Just hold me tight Cause right now, what I need's a friend I've come too far for this to be the end Don't let me fall Cause I might not get up Killing this pain Outside in the rain One hand holds a bottle And one hand holds my shame I don't know which comes first I don't know which is worse Right hiding behind Oh, inside the hearse So don't let me fall Cause I might not get up again just hold me tight Cause right now What I need's a friend I've come too far For this to be the end So don't let me fall Cause I'm mad And don't let me fall Cause I'm mad And don't let me fall Cause I'm mad Knock it up. All right. Thank you guys for that request. Let's see. As long as I got this guitar out, I had a I had a request for 
I got a gig from somebody, and then we're gonna do some of these other covers here, if I can find. If I can find it. Look at all these pages, look at all this. <laughs> There's actually nothing, these are blank. I'm just trying to make myself feel important with my papers. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I understand this is probably not the most compelling entertainment watching a man try and find something on a piece of paper, but um, it's just, I like to, um, I like to do these requests. Why is it so hard to find this? Maybe I imagined it. All right, well, let's play it. So Bill from Waxahachie says, Hayes, <laughs> you've changed my life with your music and your spirit. And your, um, uh, now we'll just send this out to all the, all the musicians and all the crew and all the actors and, and everybody that's in some kind of in the gig economy. Um, I guess the gig economy means like people who are doing Uber and stuff. Like, with, I guess that shut down for a while too, though. Um, but like the DoorDash folks are still, they've been working pretty steadily. Mm -hmm. But for the musicians and actors, people that gather in, in theaters and clubs and stuff, it's been a, a tough go. So anyway, here's the gigs coming back. We're going down to Key West tomorrow. Um, to do a show down there, so that's pretty good. Things are, things are starting to come back, and I'm I'm grateful for it. So, uh, let's see. This song was written about a time when a pandemic would not have affected my shows <laughs> because, uh, you know, all the venues, you know. Uh, I never had more than like five people in the room, so we had the spacing, the occupancy issue down. And um, yeah, let's see. Sailor's daughter, a song that makes them crazy growing up on the water. Playing for my supper six nights a week. A hurricane's Easter and New Year's Eve. Four ten walls, now there ain't much left. Looking like a homeless cheers on meth. Homer's in the corner just breaking up a fight. Good Lord, I hope I get paid tonight. I got a gig, baby. Burnt fried chicken and a Lone Star beer. Cops and the kids, they drink free around here. Girl behind the bar just taking what she's giving Lying about her past and trying to make a living A broke pool table and some hard luck cues Go tell your mama I done paid my dues Everyone around here knows my name Six nights a week and the neon flame I got a geek, baby Now 
Now there's an old line tame a park behind the bar with a hundred pounds of weed and a stolen car. Oil oh, patch boys and girls who went to college. Rules you don't break and laws and ain't acknowledged a bit. Food stramper with a pistol up his sleeve. Some will go to heaven and some will never leave. Pills in the tip jar, blood on the strings. Oh Lord, I never thought I'd see these things. I got a geek, baby. I got a geek. Sailor's daughter Somebody makes them crazy Growing up on the water Playing for my supper Six nights a week A hurricane's Easter and New Year's Eve I got a gig, baby I got a gig I got a gig, baby gig 51 of them so far but right here at the purple building in east nashville tennessee tonight with adam landry i'm hayes carl episode 51 of alone together tuesdays and um all request episode we started doing that the last let's see the last show of last year i'm i opened it up to requests and that just seemed like a fun fun thing to do so i've been doing that um for a minute now, and let's see. Speaking of a minute now, we've been at this now. Okay. Um, uh, there's a couple lines in that song. There's one about the broke pool table. This The foundation of this bar was a little uneven, and so the pool table was like, it wasn't even close. And and it's also a beach bar, and it's open air. So the, the cues were prim- primarily there for weapon purposes, not more so than pool playing. Like if a brawl broke out, you could grab one of those so um they were pretty banged up and the ball like if you just set the ball down it would just everything would roll <laughs> to that side. so it was a very you know you got used to it after a while but it was a very different game of pool than <laughs> than you would normally play a lot of a lot of maneuvers and angles involved that are not in a traditional game and i've got that line about uh, uh pills in the tip jar blood on the strings um and yeah, people used to tip me in drugs occasionally, auto parts, um, fishing tackle, stuff like that. Um, you know, people show their appreciation in different ways, and I appreciated all of them. Um, but I, I don't know why what I used to do, but you might have an answer to this, but two things used to happen. Every night I would break the G string on my guitar, every night. Um, I mean, I probably went through 200 G strings and the rest of my strings for the most part held together. So, and and this is on different guitars. It wasn't just, I mean, they were all cheap, like Sigmas or, um, not great guitars, but it was some weird thing about the way I hit it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also I would, I was playing four hour shows and I was probably drinking a bit and I also didn't have my guitar playing down, I guess, but I would cut my finger every night. And my guitar would be just covered in blood from the spatter because I'm going like, I would, I would cut it and then it, and I would just go like this. So I'm just slinging it. All, it's like a Jackson Pollock all over the stage. And um, anyway, doctor, you, I, you I, concur? I've had the same experience. Yeah. For sure. It horrified the person and the people in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> when it happened. Yeah, well, that's because in between songs you were like, like you're going like that. Yeah, that's right. But it sounds like it happened to you very regularly. Yeah, yeah. It's happening yeah. once. You would think like a callus would build up or something, but right. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we're gonna do Poncho and Lefty. We have a request from Matthew Reed. 
He said, that pursuit of freedom Poncho made hits home to me, a 20-something chasing my dreams. I always wondered what the road could... T- what the road could turn a good man into as it did an idealist like Poncho. Perhaps a musician could speak to that for potential idealists like myself. Well, damn, Matthew, that was uh, well put. Uh, man, I, I encourage you to chase your dreams. That's the only advice I have. Um, I don't know, um, you know, if, if you're in a situation where you can do that, Go for it, man, because uh, I guess the one thing I have thought about as as time went on was I I didn't expect this to work for myself. I I never thought I'd still, you know, I I didn't think I'd make a living at this and let alone be a huge, huge star. Um, But nothing. No smirks? Nothing? Okay. Um, I can tell everybody's tuned out. On me, um, uh, but I just didn't want to live with the regret of of not knowing, you know, what it what it was, what was there. If it if I tried it and failed, I could live with that. I I, I didn't want to live with not trying. So um, anyway, I encourage you to chase your dreams, keep your ideals, uh, and uh, um, you know that makes the world a better place. Idealists, I think. So, um, all right, let's play, let's play your request here. This is a song by the great Towns Van Zandt. Living on a road, my friend, was going to keep you free and clean. And now you wear your skin like iron. Your breath is hard as kerosene You want your mama's only boy But a favorite one it seemed She began to cry when you said goodbye And sank into your dreams Poncho was a bandit boy his horse was fast as polished steel He wore his gun outside his pants For all the honest world to feel But Poncho made his match, you know On the deserts down in Mexico Nobody heard his dying words Well, that's the way it goes And all the federales say They could have had him any day They only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Lefty, he can't sing the blues All night long like he used to Dust that Poncho bit down south Ended up in Lefty's mouth The day they laid poor Poncho low Lefty split for Ohio Where he got the bread to go There ain't nobody known And all the federalists say They could have had him any day They only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose
Holds tell our Pajo fell And left his living in a cheap motel And desert's quiet and Cleveland's cold And so the stories were told And Pajo needs your prayers, it's true But save a few for the lefty too He only did what he had to do Now he's growing old All the federalists say They could add him any day They only let him go so long Out of kindness I suppose A few gray federales say they could add him any day. They only let him go so long. That a kindness, I suppose. That's a pretty good song. <laughs> My wife, Allison, I, 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 I kind of joke like that all the time. And sometimes she thinks I'm serious. The other day, um, we were listening to uh, um, Linda Rodstadt, Rodstadt, and she's singing something. I'm like, she's an above average singer. And she, Allison looks at me, she's like, she's one of the greatest singers of all time. I was like, I know, baby. It was okay. It's my humor is missing the mark as usual. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, pretty good. It's a pretty good song, a better average song. I would Decent say. song. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard better, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Speaking of good songwriters, let's do. Um, I had somebody. I'm probably not gonna be able to find them, but uh, they requested a Bob Dylan song, and they just told me to pick my favorite one. Um. And. Uh, so I'm gonna do one that I never hear ever. It's on, maybe because he never put it on a record, but um, it's on a, a bootleg album. Um, but I love it. It's so it's just so cool. It's one of the, everything I love about. It. Just feels like this great country song. Wallflower, wallflower, won't you dance with me? I'm sad and lonely too. Wallflower, wallflower, won't you dance with me? I'm falling in love with you. Just like you, I'm wondering. What I'm doing here Just like you I'm wondering What's going on Wallflower, wallflower Won't you dance with me The night will soon be smoky haze And I know that you're gonna be mine One of these days My love Wallflower, wallflower 
take a chance on me Please let me ride you home Please let me ride you home I think he only says that once at the end, but I felt the need to tag it just because I forgot the lyric is literally, please let me ride you home. <laughs> I don't know. You know, how innocent or naughty you want to make that. Um, anyway, okay, we're moving right along here. We still got quite a few requests, but we are, I think, on the back half of this thing. Let's see. Tim Hansen says, Hayes, I'd like to hear I Don't Want to Grow Up, seeing as my last two girlfriends said, I think I'm Peter Pan. Good one, Tim. Joel Carter says, your cover of I Don't Want to Grow Up is inspired. If you have another weight song you'd like to play, dot, 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 dot. Uh, so, all right, Tim and Joel, let's, uh, I don't have another weight song that I would like to play. I'm just going to play this one. I need to learn some more weight songs, though. I need to learn more of a lot of people's songs. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm lying in my bed at night, I don't want to grow up. Yeah, nothing ever seems to turn out right, and I don't want to grow up. How do you move in a world of fog that's always changing things? It makes me wish that I could be a dog. Well, when I see the price you pay, I don't want to grow up. Nah, I don't ever want to be that way And I don't want to grow up Seem like folks turn into things That they never want The only thing to live for is today I'm gonna put a hole in my TV set And I don't want to grow up Yeah, I'm gonna open up the medicine chest And I don't want to grow up I don't want to have to shout it out I don't want my hair to fall out I don't want to be filled with doubt I don't want to be a good boy scout I don't want to have to learn to count I don't want to have the biggest amount I don't want to grow Fight. I don't want to grow up Yeah, they all go out drinking all night And I don't want to grow up I'd rather stay here in my room Nothing out there but sad and gloom I don't want to live in a big old tomb On Grand Street Oh, when I see the five o'clock news I don't want to grow up Yeah, they comb the hair and they shine their shoes And I don't want to grow up I'd rather stick around the old hometown I don't want to put no money down I don't want to give me a big old loan Work them fingers to the bone I don't want to learn to float a broom Fall in love, get married and boom How the hell I get here so soon I don't want to go Good one. Little Robert O'Keen. I just booked a gig with Robert O'Keen. Um, I can't remember when. It'd be nice if I could plug it right now. But uh, I think it's sometime in May. Do you remember? May uh, 14th, I think. No, that's our that's Nutty Brown, I think. Maybe it's June. I don't know. If you go on my website or his website, it'll tell you. Um, but uh, 
a Whataburger, two of my favorite things, Whataburger and Robert O'Keefe uh, are combining uh, oh, wow. with me. I'm in the middle. I'm like the hamburger and the buns are the... June 26th. Thank you, sir. Look at that. All right, June 26th. We were, we were not really close. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I like, I'm so out of practice. I'm going to pack a suitcase. I'm going to pack a suitcase uh, tonight, and I'm just like, I don't know. What am I supposed to put in it? I, I used to have this down to a science, you yeah. know? Um, so, um, yeah, forgive me. I'll get back in the groove at some point. But yeah, Robert O'Keefe down in Irving, Texas, uh, at the the Toyota Theater, some amphitheater. I don't know. Actually, I'm I'm just again talking without thinking. Um, but it's a 5,000 seat amphitheater. Um, it's a, a small little festival with Robert O'Keefe and myself and some other great artists who you can find on the website. Um, so let's do this one here. Um, Mark Bailey Randolph says, I would love to hear Feeling Good Again by Robert O'Keefe. My friends and I had a great moment during one of his shows. A guy came up to our dates, and my buddy Tyson told him, good times that away." Sean Wilson then realized this Feeling Good Again was playing and threw his arms over both Tyson and my shoulders. We were in a happy place. Thanks, Mark, from New Braunfels. All right, I'm not sure I followed the whole story there, but... But I think at the end, the result is clear, which is that y'all had a great time at a Robert O'Keefe concert. And that, uh, um, yes, I can totally relate to that. Um, let's see if I can remember. It's G E D. Let's see. It may take me a minute. I've, I've never played this, actually. Um, Or is it B minor? B minor. Huh? B minor. Oh, uh, and then where's it go? Sorry, give us one second. We're going to have a rehearsal. Just <laughs> entertain yourselves. Hold on. I wrote, some, I wrote these chords down. G, B minor. Emo. It's Emo. Standing down on Main Street across from Mr. Blues in my faded leather jacket and my weathered broken shoes. A chill north wind was blowing, but the spring was coming in As I wondered to myself just how long I'd been gone So I strolled across old Main Street, walked down a flight of stairs Stepped into the hall and saw that all my friends were there And a neon sign was flashing, saying, welcome, come on in Feel so good, feeling good again My favorite band was playing an Otis Redding song And when they sang the chorus, everybody sang along and Dan and Margarita, they were swaying side by side I'd heard they for divorcing, but I guess they let it slide And I wish I had some money with which to buy around I wish I'd cast my paycheck before I came to town But I reached into my pocket, found three twenties and a ten Feel so good, feeling good again Oh, there was old man Perkins sitting on his stool Watching Butch and Jimmy John talking loud and playing pool And the boys from Silver City, they were standing by the fire Singing like they thought they were the Tabernacle Choir And I wanted you to see them all, I wish that you were there And I looked across the room and saw you standing on the stair and when I caught you, I saw you break into a grin 
feel so good, feeling good again. Yeah, I wanted you to see them all I wish that you were there And I looked across the room And saw you standing on a stair And when I caught you I saw you break into a grin Feel so good, feeling good again Yeah, feel so good, feeling good again That's a good one. That's a great song. Yeah. I love that. All right, June 26th. <laughs> if you want to hear that and more, come check us out. Get a Whataburger. Buy yourselves a ticket. Um, all right, let's see. Stephen Rich says, Long Way Home. Uh, not sure you've played it. It's a great song, and my birthday is on the 28th. So come on, man. <laughs> Boy, what a guilt me, Stephen. Thank you. Uh, and then Lynn Curtis says, Hi, Hayes, can we request Long Way Home? We saw you in York, England when you toured with Buddy Miller. What a great show that was. We've also seen you in Nottingham several times. Always a great night out, so thank you very much, Barry and Lynn Curtis. Wow, that's cool. The first time I ever went to the UK on tour was opening for Buddy Miller. It was really cool. Um, we did about 20, 15, 20 shows. I don't know. It was a long time ago. But I remember I, I severely overpacked. I had this giant suitcase. It was my first time to go on tour in Europe. And they have all the fire doors. Those mm -hmm. I don't even know what that... It doesn't make sense to me. But um, but like in a hotel in America, you just you get in the elevator, and the only door you have to go in is the sliding door when you walk into the hotel, like most Holiday Inn Expresses or whatever, and then your hotel room. But in England, like every 20 foot, they put a door usually with a stair accompanying it. So it's like having a guitar, and these hallways are like this, and the bedrooms are like that. And so it, when you're lugging a guitar and a 100-pound suitcase, yes, it was a really heavy suitcase, um, it's just a nightmare. Well, but, you carried uh, all your gold in it. Yes, my gold. <laughs> Don't tour without gold. Some people, American Express. Gold bullion. Me, gold. <laughs> you can always do something with gold. <laughs> Credit card. I literally talked to somebody that I hadn't seen in a while. I said, what have you been doing during the pandemic? And he gold. literally said, I've been buying a lot of gold. <laughs> well, that's probably smart. People hoarding gold. <laughs> probably smart. <laughs> there are worse things you could hoard. Yes, much. Green beans. <laughs> Green beans would be a bad thing to hoard. Yeah. Gold. Mung, mung beans. I, ho I hoard corn. That's why I went to Green Beans. I didn't. I wanted to save that for a second. Well, I don't hoard it, but like when the pandemic started, I went to the store like a lot of people, and I stocked up because we had no idea what was going to happen. Yeah. And I bought a bunch of corn. And it turns out Allison doesn't like corn, and so she's giving me crap about this corn that's in our basement. I'm like, baby, I'm not making you eat it. It's just there in an emergency. In yeah, that's we right. have a can opener, and we have 107 cans of corn. And you'll thank me should we ever need to go down in the basement and be trapped without power or food or help for a long time. And you will learn to like corn. You're going to love that corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, all right. I, I, expect, I expect corn the next time we come over for dinner. You're not going to get it. <laughs> Unless you go down to the basement with a can opener and I'll, I'll hook you up. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have a little getaway. We'll sneak down there. All right. <laughs> Ramblin' boy, you've been around Dallas to the underground High above and down below The places I was scared to go You sang loud in case they heard Hanging on to every word And gentle as a lullaby With firecrackers in your eyes 
And I will give anything For one more night to run For one last song to sing You weren't asking much at all Just catch you when you fall On your own The long way home What's that sadness in your smile? Have you been crying all the while? And could you lean upon my shoulder? I guess you die or just get older. So what are we supposed to do? Just walk around forever blue. And all this hurry up and wait. Was it chance? Was it fate? And I would give anything For one more night to run For one last song to sing You weren't asking much at all Just catch you when you fall On your own The long way Weren't asking much at all Just catch you when you fall On your own The long way home this page oh no we're not I'm sorry I got Toby Afron says I'd like to request another like you it's just a fun song I'd like to hear <laughs> I like that it's like we don't I don't need to tell you some long story or get deep on it it's just fun and I want to hear it I agree Toby thank you for the request looking forward to seeing you sing it live at mile zero fest in Key West I'm not going to sing it at Mile Zero Fest, but I will sing it right here. So we'll, that'll hopefully that will work out for everybody. Um, okay, let's see. This is complicated because this is a duet uh, with my friend Carrie Ann Hurst, who uh, I just talked to, um, and um, uh, but she's not here. She's not here clearly. Oh, well, she was going to be at Mile Zero, but she's, she's not, actually. Um, I don't know if I'm breaking news. I'm not supposed to or not, but they're not going to be able to make it because of this whole COVID thing. Um, COVID. Um, so I'm going to perform this. I'm going to perform both parts. And it gets a little tricky, so this, uh, let me figure this out. When I'm the guy, I'm going to look over here. When I'm the girl, I'm going to look over here at you guys. 
And uh, then when, when the, it's, they sing together, I'm just going to look right into the camera, and it's just a free-for-all. So have fun with that. Um, and this idea is about the great political divide in America these days. It seems like nobody can agree on anything, and, and people are very polarized. And I actually wrote this a long time ago, not a long time ago, but like 10 years ago, uh, when I thought things were bad politically, and uh, now that seems like a quaint time. And uh, um, anyway, but the idea is, I, I believe at the end of the day that there's there's more we have in common than what separates us, and and um, uh, I wish we could focus on that more. Um, I think we'd all live happier lives and get a lot more done. Um, and uh, and I believe also that there's nothing that we can't overcome, and there's no difference that we can't overcome with. Uh, with a little bit of physical attraction and a lot of alcohol. That's my platform, Buda City Council, 2024. Check it out. Um, <laughs> so anyway, guy, girl, party time. Here we go. You were smoking on a cigarette Talking about the deficit of putting all them wild boys down Like a drunken Mona Lisa Or the lean entire Pisa You were hanging off the edge of town Well I overheard Afghanistan Is safer than a minivan Left me wondering what I should do Oh, you're like a four-leaf clover I just had to come on over I have never seen a woman like you You were falling like the Alamo Drinking fast and talking slow Looking like it's time to go home Well, were you heading on that stripper? Cause you can't afford to tip her Or just afraid of being alone? You was openly frustrated You said Dylan's overrated While you were singing Tangled Up in Blue I don't know what I was thinking I could feel my heart is sinking I have never seen a fella like you Ain't that the way we do It's true we fall for the first one Oh, how come it always ends up the worst one Oh well a couple hours later we were in the elevator and make it it's not right I think I fast forwarded hold on one second hmm well we could just get to the good stuff Hell, a couple hours later, we were in the elevator. I'm making out like Bonnie and Clyde. Busy from the love we found, throwing up and going down. Lord, it's been a hell of a ride. Well, I'm having trouble breathing. I probably should be leaving. You know I'm up in room 402. Oh, well, I gotta hand it to you There's a chance I'm gonna screw you Whoa, I've never seen another like you I don't know if it's forever But alone together, Tuesday family I'm so glad that we're all here together At the Purple Building in East Nashville, Tennessee Cause I have never seen another like you I think I missed an entire verse, but yes. you know, but since I was doing both parts, I think it balances out. I play, I sang the same amount that I would have sang right. if I'd had Carrie Ann to sing it with. All right. All right. Thank you for the request. And let's see. Okay. Now we're done with that page. All right. We're on the home stretch here. I want to find that request. We had this kind of amazing request for a Hank Williams song. Um, ah, here it is. This is from Murdy LaPayne. I'm not sure if I pronounced this right. It's M Y R T I E LaPayne. She's requested the song Lost Highway, written by my daddy, Leon Payne, in 1938, while waiting for a bus in California to take him to Texas to his dying mom. He was just a lad, nearly 22. How cool is that? That is amazing. This woman's father Amazing. wrote Lost Highway. 
Isn't that cool? That's cooler than cool. Um, let's see. I just need to find the lyric here if I can. Um, anyway. I went on to, uh, no, I don't see anything. Um, I ended up signing with a record label called Lost Highway, inspired by that song. Mm hmm Let's see. Um, what key was I going to do this in? D, I think? Yeah. I'm a rolling stone All alone and lost For a life of sin I've paid the cost When I pass by All the people say Just another guy on the lost highway Just a deck of cards And a jug of wine And a woman's lies Makes a life like mine On the day we met I went astray Started rolling down that lost highway. I was just a lad, nearly twenty-two. Neither good nor bad, just a kid like you. And now I'm lost. Pray. Lord, I take the cost on the lost highway. Don't start to rambling round on this road of sin. You're bound, so bound. Take my advice, oh, you'll curse the day you started rolling down. This lost highway He started rolling down That lost highway <laughs> Well I wish I could have done it more justice But uh, but thank you for the request That's very sweet uh, Murdy, I think that's how you pronounce your name that's so cool. That just makes my week. Yeah, it's amazing. It really, I mean, of all the songs, I've had I've had some songwriters, family members, wives, um, children request stuff before, but um, but uh, not like songs like that. That is iconic. Yeah, it's pretty iconic. Um, okay. Well, let's see. I'm just going to run through this one more time. Everybody, thank you for joining us here. It's been a blast. Uh, I see one more song we can do. And I'm sorry we're not able to get to all these, but I really appreciate you putting the requests in. If I didn't get it to it this week, I apologize. Um, but uh, thanks again. One more time uh, for Adam Landry here. Uh, thanks, everyone. And, and I want to thank all the folks here at the Purple Building. It, it really... Um, uh, I am 
I'm just very grateful, you know, the, at how kind and generous they have been to me here and how professional they've been as well. And it's just, uh, it's really um, a nice surprise. I go through life a lot of times going, I wish people would be kind and nice and professional. And, and, uh, and then I find these guys and they've got it in spades. So congrats to you guys on the big release on the Todd Snyder record this week. I, I'm sure it's going to do great. dog has slept through the entire show look at that she's getting used to it i think she just came and plopped out usually it takes her half hour to get settled in but tonight she's you can't see her but she's at my feet just zonked out zoned all right let's see um i just saw the request and I oh here we go uh Susie pie says please play one of my favorite hey songs it's a shame Susie, we will do that everybody thanks again for tuning in and uh, wish us luck down in Key West we don't get sucked away by a... what happens what, what, what kind of dangerous things are in Key West Actually, I'm going to answer my own question I went one time when I was a teenager and uh, we went snorkeling and there was like sharks and barracudas everywhere and the waves were pretty bad, and so, I mean, the, the, we were going up and down. So I felt very, even more out of control than I normally would have being in an ocean with sharks and barracudas. But the guide said, you don't have to worry about anything. There hasn't been a, a barracuda attack in like 90 years. Like, it just doesn't happen. And so I said, okay, that made me feel better. The week I was in Key West, two barracuda attacks. <laughs> and they were both the same thing. They were fishermen. And the barracuda jumped on the boat chasing a fish, like they had hooked a fish, uh, and the barracuda are chasing the fish, and they reel it in, and they come flying. Out of the water. Yeah, out of the water. they're super fast. And just did horrible, like these people got really messed up. So the barracuda comes through the sky. <laughs> flying like, barracuda. Flying barracuda, <laughs> and just like straight onto their head with these razor teeth and just messed them up. So anyway... So I'm not going to get too close to the water because, you know, that was, that was 25 years ago. It's probably, it's like Haley's Comet, Barracuda, every, every certain number of years. They, they just start jumping on people. Crazy. Um, Maine right. had its first great white attack in almost 200 years. You had a great white attack in Maine? Literally in Maine. Yep, this summer. I'm, I'm not joke. That's not a joke. That's not a punchline. No. I, uh, yeah. um, the, woman who, uh, the woman who died... She it, it killed her. Uh, was uh, she was the founder and CEO of one of those big nautical fashion brands, um, and she was at her summer home swimming with her daughter, oh. and a friggin' giant great white. They they believe it to be off of its uh, normal feeding patterns because of uh, not because of global warming, but because of um, all of the. The clearer air from COVID uh, caused a bunch of migratory pattern changes from that first, from the first four months of quarantine when there were no flights in the air and stuff. It like huh. put put nature in places that it normally wasn't. We saved the best for last year. That's <laughs> right. I'm sorry. That, that was such a <laughs> tangent. No, I did. No, I was just laughing. I've got a story about barracudas. You got a story about great whites. They're like, what show did we just, if you're just turning in, they're like, it's shark this week. is like a really weirdly weird and not very well informed oh, National God. Geographic kind of podcast or something. <laughs> like, who are these guys and why do they have guitars? And they're talking about fish. Exactly. And hey, listen, guitar player, no one wants to hear about your half baked opinions. Uh, oh. And another thing. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> well, here, let's do... That makes reminds me of this here. Let's, um, I saw three shrimp in the water. Two were old and gray. As I got a little bit closer, I heard the third one say, Goodbye, Mama Shrimp. 
Papa, take my hand. Here comes the shrimp boat for to take me to Louisiana. He showed his mama and papa a shrimp newspaper he'd read with an advertisement which to all the young shrimp said free ride to New Orleans stay in Grand Hotel meet Creole girls to help you to come out of your shell <laughs> um his poor mama and papa they ain't heard from him yet the last time they saw his smiling face was when he jumped into the net so goodbye mama shrimp papa take my hand shake my hands here comes the shrimper for to take me to Louisiana here comes the shrimper for to take me to Louisiana. That's so good. Who is that? I've heard Towns Van Zandt sing. I don't know who wrote it, though. Yeah. Temper Bennett. Temper Bennett? His name Temper? T E M P E R? That's so cool. Temper. 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 Uh, that's kind of cool, too. Temper would be an awesome first name, though, for somebody. Great name. Will someone do that for me? Name your child. Temper. Temper. Oh, that would be so awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got barracudas, we got great whites, and we got shrimps. I think that's enough for now. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for joining this episode of Two Guys Talking About <laughs> Seafood. <laughs> two two guys talking about violent fish attacks. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be successful if you replaced us with people who knew what they were talking about and were funny and interesting. I think that I would listen to that show. <laughs> I wouldn't listen to us talking about it, but we've at least laid the groundwork. This is the prototype so for somebody. Good. Somebody at home, take it and run with it. Just give us oh a five percent. <laughs> Time has come, there is no second chance. We've been drifting on an empty aching sea. You were the girl I never knew I wanted. I was a boy you hoped you'd never see. It's a shame we ain't lovers. We could have been something so big and grand. Just kissing for hours underneath that sweet magnolia Begging for answers, trying to make a stay Been burning up the hours, talking to the midnight Just dreaming ways I could hold you next to me and maybe it's just what meant all things have a reason And maybe our hearts are just too careless and free But it's a shame we ain't lovers We could have been something so big and grand Just kissing for hours underneath that sweet magnolia I'm begging for answers, trying to make a stay There was a time when you would have had me There was a time when I could have had you But it's too late and another path has come and gone again I'm at the back door with a broken window of you thinking 
It's a shame we ain't lovers We could have been some so big and rain Just kissing flowers underneath that sweet magnolia I'm begging for answers, trying to make a stand I'm tired of writing, but I can't put down my pen. It's too late now to talk or turn back. So just hold on, cause baby, here we go again. Heading the wrong way down that one way track. It's a shame we ain't lovers. We could have been something so big and great. Just kissing frowns underneath a sweet magnolia Begging for answers, trying to make a stay Trying to make a stay Adam Landry, Winnie, all the crew here at the Purple Building. I'm Hayes Carl. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sending in your request. It means the world to me, and uh, I hope you had a good time. We'll be back next week for our 52nd episode, uh, wrapping up one year's worth of Alone Together Tuesdays. Uh, thank you for sticking with us and, and hanging out. Uh, have a great week, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Adios. We good? Yeah. Okay. I was mistaken, my dear There was never any reason to be cruel to you Your heart is breaking, I fear And I wish there was some little thing that I could do I know perhaps it seems to you as if I didn't care And I hate it's me who showed you world ain't always fair can't take it back and make it better and no words will explain the choices that i made along the way
through all kinds of weather With my new clarity I can see you deserved so much better I was selfish and certain that the world would understand and I never realized what it means to be a man So I left you with excuses and a debt I can't repay For the choices that I made along the way 